What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today, today's topic is a trade recap along with resistance lines. Man, resistance lines are holding up on these stocks, especially in small caps like the wall that President Trump wants to build in the south border. This is ridiculous. These resistance lines are holding down these stocks tremendously. Check it out. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W, guys. And today, we're going to go ahead and review just a trade recap along with one trade I missed out on. So my the one I missed out on, let's get that one out of the gates right here. I missed out on INPX because I had just sold my o OGEN trade. I came over to INPX here and we see that INPX starts to hold. You see this candle right here, this high? It starts to hold this high here as support along with VWAP. I wanted to get long in here, missed it, and it instantly pushed away from, you know, what is this, 580 to, sorry, 480 to 514, and, it, you know, continue holding, it pushed all the way up to 427. Then it failed, and right now we're looking at, you know, we're all the way back down in the 450s. But there was money to be made there. There was some money to be made in that area. This is a very bearish signal here so i probably would have just stopped out of my whole position there just because i'm ultra conservative once i'm once i'm winning i don't really like to go back to losing so you know sometimes that does cost me money in the long run but that was you know that was it right there resistance is just holding on uh you know holding on to these stocks and stopping these moves impx is such a low float stock at uh what is this impx 1.2 million in float and that usually just flies like this stock would just fly even even in pre-market check out this move from 316 all the way to five bucks that's in pre-market that's a big move that's a very big move there's a lot of money to be made there so it just shows you that that these resistance lines are holding up look at this right here we hit this high of 536 and we didn't we didn't budge again uh from there and then we hit 525 and we didn't uh, break through. You see right here, this 525, 20, 526 area, and we didn't break through. These resistance lines are holding up strong. Then I have my trade, my OG and trade, okay? This stock made a very nice move from 89 cents all the way to $1.05. It had OG yen, it had its let's see here 200 day moving average right here at sitting at this dollar seven area okay that's the 200 day moving average that red line this is the 50 day moving average the blue line it broke through that today on decent increase in volume you know so we thought it would have it would have some strength and we'd get some some nice movement going on here once we pulled back here we had vwap and the 90 ma you know pulling up we had also the 30 i think it was a 38 2 fib level uh showing its face there so i thought Hey, let's get long in front of a dollar, stop loss, 95 cents, and we have a very good, you know, risk reward here. Uh, start with a with a small with small size, just 500 shares, and work my way up from there. So I did exactly that. Here are my orders. 101, I had it out on the bid, got filled, and then I added at 102 once we looked like we were going to break through, uh, and then I got out at 103. I didn't get out at 103 right after my ad. We'll go over the trade right now. So I got long here at 101, and then as we started to get this nice bounce, I started to look to add. My add, I wanted it to be right over that 103 as I expected it to just break 105 and then push through the high of day and the 200 moving average. And if we had very nice increase in volume at that point, I expected a nice push, you know, $1.10, $1.20, dollar 30 etc so that's exactly what i did you see this candle this candle right here and you see this big volume bar start to increase you see how the volume is decreasing on the pullback where i got in and starts to increase on the bounce it looked picture perfect so i added at 103 and then we had that nice push and then we came back and it was fine because you know we were kind of holding this area but i really i really wanted it to hold over 105 once we had this action here, look at that candle. Once we had this action, I got out. 103, took a penny for my troubles. 
as profit and went home because I expected it to just go all the way back down to like a dollar and then just sit there and then eventually fail. And I had already added, I wasn't looking forward to uh, stopping out, nor am I going to stop out at 95 cents. You know, once I add, my average is obviously going to go up a little bit and I'm expecting the stock to resolve itself, to make that push and, and go on to new highs. That's why I add. So since I added, I immediately lifted up my stop. My stop was at a dollar. I was at 95 originally, lifted it up to a dollar once I was once I added. And then once we got that nasty little action there, I immediately lifted up my stop to break even just because I, I, I expected it to get very bearish. And that's exactly what happened because these resistance lines are holding up. Look at this. That is a strong, strong resistance line there. It just won't look at it. It won't it won't break through. And where are we trading at right now? Under a buck. So guys, be careful. Take the profit you have. You know, don't 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 get aggressive. This market right now is not being nice to small caps. Let's be safe. Remember to subscribe and share the channel with your friends, and you'll know when I update uh, with new videos. Next week there will be a new video coming up, and every week after we'll have a brand new video apart from my recaps. Hope you're having an excellent start to your day and your week is going well. Let me know what you traded today. Drop the comments down below. Let me know how it went. And also if you have any questions.